bathing on Erev Shabbos. It's recorded in Shulchan Aruch in chapter 260, Halacha 1, that it is a mitzvah, not an obligation, but a mitzvah upon every man and woman to initially bathe their entire body in hot water in Erev Shabbos and Erev Yontif in honor of Shabbos and Yontif. This is not an actual obligation as we stated earlier. To explain the Paiskim as the al writes, that rather one who fulfills it is rewarded, but one who does not fulfill it is not punished. This custom is based on the custom of Yehuda Ba'iloi, written in the Talmud in Masech Shabbos, in which it states that he was accustomed to wash his hands, feet, and face with hot water. The Ramah extends this mitzvah to the entire body. So the mitzvah is to bathe the entire body with hot water on Erev Shabbos. The al continues and states that if one is unable to bathe his entire body with hot water, then at the very least he should bathe, he should wash his hands, feet, and face in hot water as was the original custom as mentioned in the Gemara. The Mishnah Druids of Cotton Days adds that this especially is applicable during the winter when Shabbos, when Erev Shabbos is short and Shabbos comes in early and the mother of their home may not necessarily have time to bathe their entire body in which the case she should at least wash her hands, feet, and face with hot water on Erev Shabbos. Included in this bath mitzvah is a mitzvah for one to wash his hair, to shampoo and scrub it on every Erev Shabbos, as written there in the Alter Rebbe in chapter 260, Allah How hot does the water have to be to fulfill this obligation? Does one fulfill this mitzvah even if he uses cold water? So, cold water is invalid to fill this mitzvah, the mitzvah specifically with hot water. The question, however, remains regarding warm water. So, the Bir Halacha writes that it requires further analysis if one fulfills the obligation with warm water. Meaning that the water has to be actually hot. What is the definition of warm water versus hot? So, some places can learn that the definition of hot water is over 98.6, which is hotter than one's body temperature. So it's also recorded in the Aruch HaShulchan that the definition of warm versus hot is what people generally call warm versus what people generally consider as hot water. What does one do if he knows that he will not be, or he or she knows he, that he or she will not be able to bathe in hot water on Erev Shabbos? It says the Shulchan writes that in such a case one should bathe, bathe on Thursday or the closest possible day to Shabbos in honor of Shabbos. Regarding when on Erev Shabbos is one to take the bath or shower, is there any precedence of time when this is to be done? So the Altrebbe records in chapter 262, Halacha 5, that it's proper for one to bathe himself as close as possible to the entrance of Shabbos, and then immediately put on a Shabbos clothing. The reason for this is that when doing so in proximity to the start of Shabbos, then it is recognizable and seen by all that one is doing the bath as well as getting dressed in Shabbos clothing in honor of Shabbos. This is in contrast to if these acts were done earlier in the day of Erev Shabbos. However, the Achreinim record that this should only be followed if there will not be any suspicion of Chilul Shabbos, of desecrating Shabbos by delaying the bath to such a late hour. Otherwise, one is to go early in order to not have any mikshul, any stumbling block in desecrating Shabbos. This is especially important to mention on Winter days in which Shabbos starts early and it can happen that a person is taking a shower very close to the start of Shabbos that it is possible for such a person, if he's not careful, to transgress various prohibitions and in the end it will end up that his mitzvah of bathing came out into an Avera of desecration of Shabbos. One must be careful not to dry his hair on Shabbos. One must be careful to make sure that the, that the water is off before sunset and for this reason, it's mentioned a chreinim that one should take a shower or bath earlier in the day in order not to enter into this situation. It is interesting to note that the Yaivitz of Yaakov Emden, and this ruling is recorded also in Kitz Shulchanoch, right, then one should not bathe his entire body in hot water on Erev Shabbos. The Alter Rebbe does not record this ruling, and likewise the custom is not to follow this ruling as we see regarding the mikvahs, that they are filled with hot water and used on Arab shops.